What's up guys, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Tusk multifunction tack hour meter on your dirt bike. Having an hour meter on your dirt bike is a must have to help track your maintenance. If you don't know where to find your maintenance schedule, it's found in the owner's manual and if you follow this, it'll help you get the most out of your dirt bike. So this Tusk hour meter we're installing today, it has several different functions. It tracks your total hours. It also has four different functions to help you track individual items. Like you're gonna have a different service schedule for air filter, oil, valve adjustment, piston replacement. So you can set two of them. They'll count down from a predetermined number to zero and then tell you need to service them. And then two functions count up from zero to however many hours you need. So the other cool part about it, it works with both two and four strokes. You just need to set the revolution counter up for that. And this bike we're installing it on today is our CRF 450R that we use for a roadster racing project. We just got done rebuilding the engine, which means it's a perfect time to install an hour meter. So we track how many hours we actually put on this. So even though we're doing this on a CRF 450R, it's pretty much the same installation process for most dirt bikes. To do this job, you'll need some basic hand tools, rags, and safety glasses. For parts, we have our Tusk hour meter, some zip ties, and mounting. The kit comes with this double-sided sticky tape and a couple screws if you choose to do that. But we actually chose to go with a mounting that doesn't come in the kit. It's sold separately, but it's the Tusk hour meter mounting bracket. This simplifies the mounting process and it's easy to see since it's in a highly visible spot in front of the gas tank. And if you want it, click on the link at the end of the video and we'll have it there. The first thing we need to do is to, to determine a mounting location for our hour meter. Now, a lot of people will mount it up here on the side of their frame. You can do that on either side, but our mounting bracket is actually gonna be up here right above the gas tank. It's easier to find the mounting location now while we have everything in place. That way we don't mount it where it's gonna be in the way of something else. We'll start out by removing the seat. The next thing we'll wanna do is to remove this gas tank. Before you disconnect the fuel hose, make sure your fuel valve is in the off position. We need to run this wire down to our spark plug wire. And when we run it, we need to make sure it stays away from anything that gets really hot. So for me, I'm actually gonna run it next to these other wires that are coming down here. So I've got this about where it needs to go and I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack in that cord right there. So on us, for us, we actually decided we're gonna wrap this around here and cut it, but if you don't, want to cut this off, you can bundle the excess wire somewhere. So when we wrap this around the spark plug wire, this is actually what's picking up our signal. And when we do that, you need to leave several inches here to wrap around that. So you can wrap it around between five and 10 turns and then we'll zip tie it on there. On some bikes, they have coil on cap. So for this style of coil, you're gonna wrap it three or four times around here and zip tie it tight. Again, this coil doesn't fit our bike, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around our spark plug wire. So we have this wire wrapped around at least five times, and once you have that, just make sure everything's really tight on there, and then we're gonna use a zip tie, and we've got about an inch left on this wire right here. So we'll tie both of these wires together and that will hold it tight. And we'll trim the end of that zip tie off. And then we can tie down this wire all the way up to our mounting point. So again, I'm just gonna follow this wiring harness up to about this point and then let the wire run over to where it's gonna be.
Now that we have the wiring all tied down, we just need to mount up this hour meter. And like I mentioned before, you have a few different options. If you're gonna use this double stick tape that comes with it, you just put it on the back and you can stick it to the side right here and you can clean up that surface with rubbing alcohol or if it's not painted, you could even use some contact cleaner. The other option you have are these two screws that came in the kit. So you do drill two holes a little bit smaller than these screws, put these in place, and then there's the plastic caps that go on top. So now that we've talked about the mounting, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall our gas tank and make sure our wire isn't getting pinched anywhere. And then we'll mount this bracket up on top. With the gas tank on, we can now install our meter bracket under this top mounting bolt. Then we'll reconnect the fuel line. Now we can take our meter and take these two screws that came with our new bracket and put those into place. The last things we need to do is install the puke tube and then we'll reinstall the seat and go ride. We'll also install these plastic clips that came with the meter and that's just gonna keep out any debris or mud out of these screw holes. Installing this Tusk Tack Hour Meter is really that easy. If you need these parts, they're available on our website with pretty much anything you could need for your bike. So check that out. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a ton of other helpful videos on there. Thanks for watching.